Hey, I'm Vanessa Joy. I'm here for Behind the Shutter and Shutter Mag. And today I want to show you light and airy, dark and moody images, all taken within the same three feet area and how I edit them. So right here I have images and these are all raw out of camera. I took all these images in the same three feet sort of diameter radius, I don't know what you want to call it, in an area and check out this month's edition of Shutter Mag July 22 so that you can see exactly what I'm talking about and hear more about the technical parts. But to summarize it for here in the video, this first set of photographs I wanted to go for that light and airy look. So right off the bat, I went ahead and backlit my subject. There was a nice big doorway. I just stuck her in it facing me inside the building. I was inside the building and it blows it out. Now this worked pretty well here. However, every once in a while, it's too bright, right? In the background and you get that washed over look and it's too hazy. All you have to do in this case is move her further away from that back light source, move your subject further away from that back light source, and then use a longer lens. So you're still getting a completely white look versus seeing parts of the doorway or the window or wherever you have her facing. So that's what we did here. The second set, I just went with lighting her fairly flat, not totally flat. I do like a little bit of shadow, Definitely light in both eyes, but I do like seeing some cheekbone and jawline shadow. So that's what we've got in this second set of photographs. But to keep that light and airy mood, I chose a light background. Light background, light shadows, you're going to get that vibe. Now for the second set of photographs, I wanted to go for more of a dark and moody. So in opposition to that light background, I went for a dark background here, which worked out okay. Uh, you can see I had a little bit of a tan siding here I then got rid of and then the key to this in my opinion aside from having a dark background is to have more shadows on the face so that's what we did here with Juliana so she's got you know side lighting going on a little bit more shadows here and then in the ones that I actually ended up liking like this one right here I will show you settings on the favorites don't worry um, I added a reflector just to highlight her hair so that's what we did there and then the last thing that I did still, again, right in that same area is I found a light source. And in this one, it's a tungsten light source, which you got right here. And I got my model super close to it so that the light on her was brighter than anything else in the surrounding area. And what that does is it lets your background go darker because it's brighter on your subject's face. So that's another way you can go for that kind of dark and moody vibe. Even though we were in a really well lit area, I mean, these photos right here are the most representative of what it was like in that area. But by bringing your subject close to the light, so she was super close to the window here, controlling the background, whether you're actually shooting into a black background or making the light on her face super bright by getting her close to that light, which makes the light more contrasty inverse square law, maybe we'll get to that in another video, um, that's going to control it. So let's go ahead and pull these into Lightroom. So these are my favorites. Uh, there's some other photos here that you can find, you know, on my YouTube channel or somewhere. <laughs> You'll find the behind the scenes videos of these. Um, but let's go ahead. My favorites from this shoot were these right here. So I've got them pulled up in Lightroom for you already. Now, how you edit these photos is going to make a difference. So I'm going to go ahead to my styles that I have over here. These styles are available at presets.breatheyourpassion.com, or you can just go to my Instagram or in the link in bio. Um, my Instagram's at Vanessa Joy. My favorite for that light and airy look is, well, light and airy, right? Because, you know. I made obviously a preset that names that or joyfully simple uh, for this one i'm going to stick with joyfully simple unfortunately i focused on the back eye here instead of the front one so i'm not thrilled about that but it's also not really going to show up honestly when you throw it on instagram some photos are good instagram some are good printed this one's good for instagram <laughs> all right this photo right here i think i'm going to go with my light and airy yeah, my light and area. I'm going to back it off a little bit just by coming down on the exposure ever so slightly. You can see my settings over here. I'm not trying to hide them from you, um, but I do sell these presets. And then you can just see right away that like before and after 
just, you know, editing does make a difference. And then for the opposite, let's go to these dark and moody ones. Yes, I do have a dark and moody setting, of course, by one and I. All right, so dark and moody. It's going to do it a little bit too much. So I think what I'm going to use is gray day. I think I might just go joyfully simple. Yeah, I do like the joyfully simple. I did a good enough job in camera making this dark and moody that I don't need to have... <laughs> Patting my own back. I don't need to have uh, my editing do that work for me. But I'm going to make some adjustments because some things I do want to see. I want to see more of the gold on her hair. So I'm just going to go into my local adjustment brushes here. I'm just going to create my own. I'm going to just warm it up. And I'm going to pump up the highlights. And let's just see what that looks like when I just spread that on over here. Yeah, that's doing exactly what I want it to do. I just want to see a little bit more pop in that so if i take that off yeah just that little bit whoops more pop and maybe i'll even pull up the whites ever so slightly let's see what happens if i pull up the shadows i think everything here is like blacks yeah or something oh i'm not on my mask that would be why i'm like why am i pressing buttons and nothing's happening there we go okay so there are the shadows so that might be a little bit too much just right about there and then my last photo that I have here this one's a little funky uh, because of the coloring um let's go with the joyfully simple let's go with the gray day I don't know fresh and clean uh, so many options I actually like stupid green that's doing fun things but I'm going to come in here and play with my adjustments. I do want this to be a little bit on the cooler side so that all of the shadow that we have goes bluer while we have like a little bit of skin tone here that stays natural. And I think I'm going to mess around in this hue and saturation here. Let's go into the luminance and I want the blues to come down. Yeah, see what it's doing to my background? And I want that because I want the brightest part really to be on her or the light to really accentuate her. And when this is lighter, a little bit distracting so I'm just going to pull that down I'm going to go into my oranges and that's going to pull up a little bit of her skin tone which I kind of already did in this preset yeah this looks fun to me let's actually bring up the blue saturation I like that and then these hues look pretty good I think we're going to pull the red more towards orange yeah that looks better so just so you see a little bit of before and after it just comes out a little bit cleaner now I do want to do a little bit more to this, a little bit more magenta. You know, it's so subjective. Nothing I hear is, uh, you know, the Bible. So uh, I will come in here, though, and probably just clean up skin a little bit. Just some nice little things that we can do. Whenever you're shooting more of a dark and moody, you tend to be more contrasty. So you tend to see more skin tone things. Let's throw that on to heal. I had those all on clone they should be heal and then they will do a fairly good job of just cleaning up the skin of course you might want to do a little bit oops a little bit more in Photoshop okay there we go so just little tiny bits um, now you're watching my computer be too slow for me so we'll just leave that as is but taking a look at those photos that we just did right there and then you can see some of the before and afters if I go into them one by one so a little bit of editing a little bit of intention with the shooting and all of that together is going to make a really big difference in really how you choose to shoot and be either you know light and airy or dark and moody according to whatever it is that you want to portray in your imagery. So again, just like before and afters so that you can see raw and out of camera. Uh, and these images are in no means done done because again, I want to do a little bit of skin retouching, but I hope that makes sense and helps give you a visual for my article this month in Shutter Mag July 2022. And I'm Vanessa Joy. I'll see you next time. Bye.